This video was recorded on New Year's, but I'm probably going to upload it like probably in a few days, probably next week. I don't know. You know, for how much I like to shit on the degenerates of modern YouTube and a whole bunch of other weird shit, you know, for how much I like to clown on others for that type of weird stuff, I actually don't make much videos on individual YouTubers. I swear, I didn't even notice it until I looked back at my videos, like I didn't even notice that until now. And it's been a while since I've even done a fucking episode of this series, so fuck it, consider this one, you know, something I guess. There's actually one channel that I haven't made fun of out of the Coomer trash category, and that is Chunky Moon. Yeah, Chunky Moon is what I like to consider Coomer trash, but if you want to get technical, the name of the genre is literally just called bait. Basically, my issue lies with his content. I have to break your neck. It's just the way it is. I'm not, I'm just a messenger. His content mostly revolves around commentary, but he usually comes across as like a super horny bastard. I sound like I'm trying not to wake up someone, that's because I'm actually recording this at like 1am. But fuck it, I want to get done with this video and I want to get it off my chest. One other thing that he likes doing is just, you know, making one of those haha it's funny because it's porn type memes. Which is basically just, okay, insert female, you know, female name is worth it. That's basically what this fucking, you know, series is called. Where he'll just take a clip from this one Wes Anderson's movie, and they're like, okay, we'll only fight if it's worth it. And then it'll just show the character being sexualized, and it's like, okay, it's worth it. Side note, and I'm not gonna show the video here, because I mean, oh my fucking lord, it's, uh pretty fucking bad but one of the categories or at least one of like the titles of the fucking video it literally has a uh, gwen from ben 10 which if you watch the show it's a fucking 10 year old now i'm not trying to make assumptions but uh yeah you start making people feel uneasy when you post that shit god youtube is a really weird fucking place a place where i could get a strike for uploading an old punch out clip but then suddenly this fucker you know posts shit like that and they're still on the platform plus ben 10 fans have no issue with the sexualization of children so i mean what the fuck am i else supposed to do but outside of the whole haha it's funny because it's porn thing he'll also upload some pretty unfunny jokes on his other channel which yeah he has two channels one of which being his main and then the other one being an alt account not really an alt account but just a second channel which i mean uh, if his content along with uh, you know whatever happened to me with that fucking strike which um yeah i ended up uploading an old punch out clip and i got a strike for that but you know oh look sexualization of characters you know softcore porn that's allowed on the platform but you know a punch out clip isn't and if that doesn't show how far youtube has fallen then i don't know what else the fuck it does and speaking of alt accounts stop fucking crying bitch I don't know what it is, but this guy just seems to have an issue with people criticizing him. I mean, it's to the point where he'll make fucking alternate accounts to try and fuck over the person's video. Like, you know how some YouTubers just can't take criticism, or just how some people can't take criticism? <coughs> Andrew Tate? No, oh, sorry, I did not mean to mention fucking funny, bald Romanian guy who's in prison. And plus, can we leave this whole, like, Tate, Aiden, Ross, Sneeko, Cuck shit in 2022, please? But enough of the off-topic shit, um, yeah, he ends up fucking making alt accounts and tries fucking over the person with false copyright strikes and all that other false copyright shit, which is illegal, might I add. So he's effectively breaking the fucking law because he's a petty little bastard. But that's not the fucking end of it. Let's get into this whole wacky TV and Enrico drama involving Chunky Moon. Where's my face? Basically, during this drama, Enrico made a six minute video talking about Chunky Moon, in which Chunky Moon got visibly fucking upset and then just decided to fuck him over copyright wise. He fucked him over because of a few things, one of which was an EDP 445 joke, which I mean, I guess that Chunky Moon thought that fucking Enrico was calling him a pedophile, even though that's clearly not the fucking case. And I usually don't really like throwing around that fucking word because I feel as if it's just become a buzzword, especially now that, you know, a lot of fucking YouTubers and Twitch streamers are just being fucking, you know, confirmed as those. But again, it's clearly fucking false. And also, I'm just going to mention that Enrico is a minor, probably 16 or 17. Last time I checked, he was 16, but he's still a minor nonetheless. So, um, yeah, Chunky Moon tried fucking over a minor's YouTube channel. 
Oh, but that's not all. Once Wacky TV decided to try and help with the whole thing, guess what fucking happened? You know, fucking Chunky Moon on alt accounts tried accusing Enrico of being a pedophile, which again, he's a minor. Also, uh, Chunky Moon decided to use one of the thumbnails from fucking Wacky TV and put it on a second channel, which I mean, huh? It's super fucking funny that a grown ass man is so petty that he'll make alt accounts to shit talk his critics. And in fucking Wacky TV's second video, which I'll link in the description, he ended up getting a copyright notification because of fucking Chunky Moon. I think it might have been one month after the whole drama. Also, in that very same video, which again, link in the description, what ended up happening was that uh, Chunky Moon's very own fucking friend, you know, he just called Chunky Moon petty, which I mean, if your own friends are calling you petty, then they're not your friends. They fucking don't like you. And also, he'll try weaseling his way out of shit, like, Chunky Moon will try weaseling his way out of shit, whether it be blocking people on Twitter who literally just want to know what the fuck was going on, to declining a fucking interview to explain himself. Which, dude, that's just making your VTuber ass look bad, and yeah, he's a fucking VTuber too, which I mean, a fucking course this degenerate is. And also, uh, I just want to say in that same video by Wacky TV, fucking Chunky Moon tried to fuck him over, and he ended up fucking leaking out his docs. <laughs> you did wrong. Respect to Wacky TV for not even fucking doxing the guy. I mean, I know most people would if they fucking did that, but I'm glad this guy actually has some self-control. Because even then, like, that's just fucking illegal and horrible to do, no matter if they fucked you over or not. Also, apparently, fucking Chunky Moon has quote-unquote addressed criticism in a video where it's just called Chunky Moon Exposes the Plague of YouTube, which I mean, dude, chill out with the fucking horny shit, dude. This doesn't even make you look good again. Like, he's just setting himself up to look fucking bad. But the quote-unquote addressing of the criticism is him literally just saying, Hey guys, I know you can get views off this weird porn shit, and I'm self-aware. Which, that doesn't excuse shit. It clearly doesn't excuse shit, so I mean... God, how did this person of such low IQ even have a fucking career? So, uh, basically, back to the fucking whole drama thing. What ended up happening was that one of uh, Chunky Moon's fucking lackeys decided to uh, try and fuck over Wacky TV over a message in a Discord server. And he also kept spamming Wacky TV's face, which I'm not gonna show in the video out of respect for Wacky TV. I mean, I don't show my face either because I respect my privacy. I assume Wacky TV also respects his privacy. Which, yay, his fucking fans and lackeys are just about as mentally ill as him. But in conclusion, Chunky Moon is a guy that got pissed off and in his feelings over a channel with way less fucking subscribers than he has, which I mean, Chunky Moon has like, what, a few hundred K subs? And fucking Enrico still is barely scratching that. So he basically then decided to fuck him over with a copyright strike, even though the video did not even violate fucking copyright. So he basically lied, and then Wacky TV called him out for being a fucking degenerate, and then he got in his feelings again. Wacky TV then rightfully calls out fucking Chunky Moon for putting an image of a sexualized underage character in the thumbnail of a video. Chunky Moon then gets in his feelings again, trying to fuck over the YouTuber, but he accidentally quote unquote fucking decides to release his docs and shit. Yeah, Chunky Moon's own personal fucking docs. Oh, and tried fucking accusing a 16 year old of being a fucking pedophile, which I mean, yeah, like I, I don't want to say it, but at the same time I do, I feel as if since like all these YouTubers are getting exposed as pedophiles now, I feel as if the word pedophile has just been becoming more and more of a buzzword online or in the YouTube game as a whole. And Chunky Moon just proved my whole fucking point about what I just said. Which, if you're gonna accuse someone of some serious shit like that, at least try and come up with proof, which I mean, not a lot of people could do that. Or at least just try and come up with fake proof. Something that doesn't make you look bad or like an idiot. You know, anything that's not making fake alt accounts to try and fuck over a person. And plus, what you're doing is literally just fucking fake allegations and slander. Yeah, uh, digging into fucking Chunky Moon, he tastes horrible, and I'm not fucking saying that phrase ever again if I ever do this series again. I am never, ever, ever in the fucking history of this channel saying that shit again. You're gay! You're- He's gay! Uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a good new year, and I'll try to upload as much as I can.
I know my new year video was just, you know, poking fun at the fact that I didn't really do much this year, or well, 2022. It's because of the fact that, well, a whole bunch of IRL shit happened, but hey, hopefully I put that behind me. And hopefully I could get back to uploading a fuck ton of content, or at least like a lot more content than I've been uploading recently. Because I want to get back into that whole YouTube grind or whatever and just try and upload more and more. Not like a fuck ton, but just more than I usually do nowadays. But yeah, end of video. I don't want to waste your fucking time anymore. Alright, you wanna fuck around tonight?